Algebra 1, number 4.1a, we're talking about inequalities in their graph in this unit. And this is a solution of inequalities. An inequality tells the relationship between two numbers or expressions. We can recognize the inequalities because they contain these symbols. There's a less than, a greater than, a less than or equal to, that has the bar underneath it from an equal sign, and a greater than or equal to, and that has the bar from an equal sign underneath it. A solution of an inequality is any number that makes it true. And some inequalities have an infinite amount of solutions. So see the links in this video's description for more help for more videos, okay? All right, so we need to remember that negative numbers are less than zero and positive numbers are more than zero. So, keeping that in mind, which of these numbers is a solution of n is greater than or equal to 4? Which one of these would make it true? Is 5 greater than or equal to 4? Yeah, it is. So this would be a solution, wouldn't it? How about 11? Is 11 greater than or equal to 4? Yeah, 11 is greater than 4. How about negative 6? Is negative 6 greater or equal to 4? Well, negative numbers are less than 0, and 0 is not greater than 4, so this one is not a solution. How about 4? Is 4 greater than or equal to 4? Yeah, it's equal to, so that is a solution. How about negative 2? Well, negative numbers are less than 0, and 0 is not greater than 4, so this is not a solution. How about 7? Is 7 greater than or equal to 4? 7 is bigger than 4, isn't it? So that would be a solution. Look at, we've got three, four solutions for this, and you know what? We can think of many more, because 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, those are numbers that are not listed here, and they're all greater than 4, aren't they? And we could keep going on for infinity. How about this one? Which of these numbers is a solution for x is less than or equal to 0? It's got to be less than 0 or equal to 0. Well, 3 isn't less than 0. That's bigger, isn't it? Is 0 less than or equal to? Yeah, so that's a solution, isn't it? How about negative 1? Is negative 1 less than or equal to 0? Yeah, it is. Because remember, negative numbers are less than 0. So this is a solution. Negative 1 is less than 0. How about negative 3? Well, wouldn't all the negative numbers count? Yeah. Anything that's negative would be less than zero, wouldn't it? So we can automatically circle this one, and we can automatically circle this big guy, because he's got a negative sign in front of him. How about the six, though? Is a six less than zero? No, it's not. So we found four solutions for this one, too. And there's an infinite number of other ones that could fit in here. Negative two. We could even do fractions and decimals. Negative one and a half is less than zero, isn't it? All right, which of these is a solution for A if a is less than 12. So there's multiplication. So we have to multiply these together to find out if they're less than 12. Is 2 times 1 less than 12? Yeah, it is. So 2 times 1 would be a solution. How about 3 times 3? Is that less than 12? Yeah, it's 9. 9 is less than 12, isn't it? How about 3 times 4? 3 times 4 is equal to 12, and there's no bar underneath here. So that's not a solution. It's not less than 12, it's equal to it. See, and the sign only says less than. What about three times negative four? Well, when we have a positive three and a negative four and we multiply them together, we get a negative, don't we? A negative and a positive make a negative. So that would be negative 12. Negative 12 is definitely less than 12 because if it's negative, it's less than zero. So that is a solution. How about five times zero? Yeah, anything times zero is zero. Right? So, 0 is less than 12. What about negative 4 times negative 4? Well, remember, when you multiply two negatives together, it makes a positive. So that would make a positive 16. 16 is not less than 4, so that's not an answer. Okay? So, if A is less than 12, then every value less than 12 is a solution. This includes all fractions and decimals. It includes all negative numbers because negative numbers are less than zero. So we could have an infinite amount of solutions for this because we could keep going into the negatives to infinity, couldn't we? Into the millions and billions and trillions. 
All right, which of these is a solution for B if B is greater than or equal to 6? Is 20 over 5 greater than or equal to 6? Well, what's 20 divided by 5? If we simplified this, it would equal 4, wouldn't it? 4 is not greater than or equal to 6. How about 6 times 6? Yeah, 6 times 6 is 36. That's greater than a 6, isn't it? How about negative 5 times negative 2? Well, remember, when you multiply two negatives, it makes a positive. So that would make a positive 10. Is that greater than 6? Yeah, 10 is greater than 6. So this counts. It's a solution. How about 7 over 1? Well, remember, when we put a number over 1, it's just that number. It's a 7. So yeah, 7 is greater than 6. So that's a solution also. How about negative 2 times negative 3? Two negatives make a positive when you multiply them. So negative 2 times negative 3 makes a positive 6. And because this bar is underneath here, it's equal to it, right? It's greater than or equal to, and 6 is equal to 6. So that's a solution also. How about 0? Is 0 greater than or equal to 6? No, it's not, OK? So if we're not sure if a value is a solution, just make a number line and find out. You can see the video number 2.1b that was back in the beginning of this playlist for Algebra 1. And there's a link in this description that'll tell you about making the number lines and seeing which one's larger or smaller, greater than or less than or equal to, OK? All right, so we're going to move on to 4.1b. And we're going to talk about graphing these inequalities, OK? I hope I'll see you there. I hope you're having a good day. Bye.